go ahead boost yourself motivate with this goading with this urging and with this insistence and vehemently following the right path who can deter you from your path right rightly said and because this is something which is a boosting method this is something which makes a person feel yes he can do it the words that we take up we also take up the roots with it the vocabulary associated with it and also the interconnected words with it now when we were doing this word this was the last word that we did yesterday detrimental with these were very important words dis uh, uh, disentangle discriminatory discernible dilemma and detrimental now we have very important a grammar rule which i don't want you to miss twice or thrice it has come please note inimical detrimental harmful or injurious you can take more of them that's not a problem all of these will take preposition to cigarette smoking is injurious to health right we all know that it is inimical to a healthy life why because this is harmful this may cause a problem this is something which may cause harm it may be damaging it may be injurious it is hurtful it is deleterious it's very damaging effect that it can have on others it will not have a benign or something good see the opposite of it benign and beneficial effect it won't have on the others right the root has been noted and the grammar section has been pointed out wonderful we move to the next word yes deter i keep saying don't no nothing can deter you from your path nothing can move you away from your path if you are determined you stick to your ground if you are very steadfast you are firm and determined nothing can move you away from it this is deterring it's discourage someone from doing something by instilling doubt or fear of the consequences put off please note that is the phrasal verb a very interesting method to learn this put off is postpone call off is cancelled the meeting was put off postpone the meeting was called off cancelled very simple method and a trick to remember with the p's and the p's i link with the c's and the c's i link yes this is what is paired learning right so this is what it dissuades you it warns you it's a caution for you it makes you feel that you should move away from that thing that is deter but when something which is encouraging something which is boosting something which is motivating which leads you to your goal that is the word opposite to the word debtor next word despondency despondency is in a very low spirit so if i would say i i take up the word again it's used for simply meaning sad in low spirits you know down in the mouth long faced to become blue melancholic feeling low saturnine lugubrious I think I just made it again. The spelling. Dep 
depressed, melancholic, there are many more I could add up, something sad, sully, sulkily, dis, uh, dejection, depression, discouragement, don't be in a despondency mood, don't spread uh, you know sadness everywhere, the people who fill people with happiness with a smile on their face, no despondency. This is suppose it would be cheerful, yes the idiom that is larky. On cloud nine, fiesta, on seventh heaven, right, this is in a very happy mood, right. Next word is the word deftly. When you do things deftly, that means in a very careful, in a cunning manner, in a very crafty manner, it is a very dexterous style of doing something. See when we root ambi and dexterous, ambidextrous is the skill of using both the hands, this is ambidextrous. And when I remove ambi from it, I am left with the word dexterous, that is a skill, caliber, potential to do something that is dexterously. So, in a way that is neatly, skillfully and quickly done in a very clever manner, it is aptly. See the word in English, adapt is adjust okay. and adapt, just a letter change is skillful. You have the caliber to do things, he can handle things more deftly. She is a very talented and she can handle the vocabulary deftly, right, in a very right, in a very clever manner. The opposite would be very clumsy, very awkward, not doing things in the right perspective, yes. Next word is the word curb. Curb means you try to put a check on something, you restrain that thing, you stop that thing, you keep a check on it, you act as a barrier for something or you act as an obstacle, you nip it, you annihilate it. You destroy it. that is curb. This is restrict someone, check someone from doing something. The opposite would be release, allow that thing to happen. Crippled. What is crippled? Crippled is simply meaning handicapped. Person is, if a person is crippled by mind, nobody can make him rise like a phoenix, causing a severe almost insuperable problem, debilitate, incapacity, weaken, enfeebled is crippled, usually used for physically crippled or handicapped. But a person should may be physically crippled, but should not be mentally crippled. Because if you are mentally crippled, it is very difficult to boost you up. It is just you feeling, it is a feeling that you are lacking in something, you do not have the gist or the caliber to do that thing. Next word is credulity from the root cred. Cred is belief, right? Fid is also belief, so both are interconnected, so I have taken them together, right? Credulity is a tendency too ready to believe anything. You are very naive, you are gullible or you are a knave. You can be easily fooled by people. You have tendency to believe anything, so naturally you are easily fooled. Such kind of people are very, uh, very simple minded people and they are easily fooled by those uh, cunning and deft people who know how the tactics of handling things, they are very shrewd people in this world. This world is made of serpents and codes. Keep awake, read a wonderful poem today of Nizim Ezekiel Enterprise. You will understand what is symbolic meaning and surface meaning. The writer is Nizim Ezekiel and you will find this words there. The world is made of serpents and goats. There are some people who are goats that are very innocent and there are some people who are serpents who are snakes, they are very cunning, right. So, it depends on the person to person what type of person is there in the world. 
Next word is counterproductive. Counterproductive is opposite of the desired effect. आपने जो desired effect सोचा था, just opposite to that is counterproductive. It is inimical, biased, discriminatory, or unjust. Something wrong that is counterproductive. This is harmful, of course, naturally because it's opposite to that, and the opposite would be harmless. When it can cause a problem. That is harmful. When it is not causing any problem, that it will be harmless, right? Okay. Next words. Now, when we take up this word specially, that is the word conundrum. It is related with any kind of a trick. any confusion in your mind see we have a long list of words which are linked with this it's a ruse it's a trick it's a prank it's a enigma it's a riddle it's a puzzle it is a conundrum it is a maze it's a labyrinth where it's not easy to find the way that is a conundrum you know right from your childhood you have been doing such kind of you know those uh, puzzles and pahelis where you find the uh, what i would say carrot for the rabbit and then the crossword puzzles and things it is mind churning exercise it is something where you a problem which is confusing which is difficult to handle when your mind is totally churned a problem a difficulty a kind of a quandary a situation where you are stuck i draw on up a kind of a labyrinth life itself is a labyrinth and we all have to do our best to come out victorious next word is contingent contingent is subject to change something which is not fixed something which is accidental fortuitous please see the root fort now f o r t fort is by chance it is not permanent it is accidental right it is by chance you are not planned it it is unplanned it is unpredictable unforeseen you can't tell about it because you have not thought about it you never even thought that this is going to happen that kind of a situation will be contingent right contention is a heated disagreement a verbal duel a dispute an argument a variance a situation which is a kind of a fight it can be a fight feud duel a uh, a kind of contention disagreement so it can be depends on the level of usage you can draw your daggers you can make things happen the worst of it or you make it positive for it right next word is contagious from the co root together spreading from one to the other it's an infectious disease means one person can spread that disease to the other like what more i can say in this corona pandemic time that this is contagious it is infectious it is a disease which will spread from one person to the other from one organism to the other one animal to the other so it's a direct contact which is required for this it is something which is communicable and it is something which is transferable from the root trans one to other right i just go through the next two words which i would do in detail in the next class consensus is something which is an agreement harmony or concord from the co root and cord root close to your heart which you agree to and confound is something which is confusing surprising astonishing bewildering and stunning yes so you will yourself be bewildered stunned dazed amazed perplexed surprised flabbergasted by the change you will feel in your vocabulary yes so make me write it to me and tell me how's your english going on what is your vocabulary performance has it increased 
has it you have yourself felt a change is the change visible to you or not right i'll be eagerly waiting for your comments for this right students please do like it and do subscribe it thank you